pastoral duties, among the flock and the gleaners, and the vineyard of the Lord, that I ain't had time to give to the preparation of no real theologic sermon. So, I was going to let my Bible drop open. And where so ever my eye, I, 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 I will know that the Lord has guided me to that pastor. Oh, for you all Monday. on this beautiful Monday. Sunday. Monday morning. Yeah. 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 But before we do that, I feel a blessing coming on. I feel it. I feel it in my bone. I feel it in my chest. I feel it in my arms right now. I feel it in my legs. Who can I bless today? Who needs it? You. Or you. I see it coming on. Anybody with a bald head? Yes, yeah, on top of that head. I see that you have. <laughs> you don't need no more blessing. <laughs> I just want to bless. You have been blessed. You're blessed. I mean, you are blessed. You best be blessed with something. So. But anyway, we're going to get going. We're going to sing this song. We're going to get it going. And. <laughs> Trees, 
free as a song, and one day I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Oh, little old squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an ocean box, busted a couple holes in the top, and when Sunday came, I snuck him into church. Well, I was sitting way back in the very last pew, showing him to my good buddy Hugh, and that squirrel got out and went totally berserk. He went berserk. Well, what happened next is hard to tell. Some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell, but the fact that something was upon us was plain to see. That squire sang, I surrender all. Squirrel ran up, her boots cover all, and he to his seat said, Some kind of hope don't say, Ow! Oh! <laughs> In the first of Christ's church, that sleepy little town of Pascagoula, it was a fight for survival, that brought out the revival, they were jumping pews and shouting, hallelujah. Well, hard in the aisles, and they sit in the string, some thought he had religion, another thought he had a demon, and hard thought he had a weed to lose, and it's true to the Lord. <laughs> but he fell to his knees, and bleeding bag, as he were run out of his riches legs, and observed. Other side of the room. Other side of the room. Well, all the way down the A minute long sat Sister Bertha, better than you, who was watching all with the motion of statistically. She watched with glee. You should have seen the look in her eyes when the squirrel jumped her garter and crossed her thighs. And she leaped to her feet and said, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. As the squirrel made laps inside her dress, she began to cry as did it confess the sins that would make a sailor blush and shame. <laughs> She talked the gossip in the church to send you, but the thing that got the most attention, we she talked about her love life, and she started naming names. The day the squirrel went to church, in the first half right church, in that sweet little town of Pascagoula, it was a fight for survival, that broke down in revival, they were jumping pews and shouting, hallelujah. Well, the seven deacons and the boss got raised. Twenty-five thousand dollars got raised. A few volunteers, the missus in the Congo, on the spot. Well, even without an invitation, there were at least five hundred new dedications, and we all got rebaptized. But we need new life. Oh, the Lord of Life, the Lord of Gas, so he parted the waters. He was the best. Oh, the Lord of Life, this old world. Remember, to a dying day is how he put that church back on the narrow way with a half crazy Mississippi Mississippi Squirrels, the day the squirrel went berserk, and the first of the years of church, that sleepy town of Pascagoula, it was a fight for survival. The broke out in revival, they were jumping views and shouting, Hallelujah! Let's squirrel in. Uh, <laughs> when I was a little kid, I went through the whole 